Hello everyone, how are you today? My name is George and this is the very first uh, video tutorial of a series for learning how to program in the Ruby programming language. Now, as this is the first video, this is going to be more like an introduction, you know, install Ruby and uh, Hello World application, all that simple stuff. Uh, now, but the first thing you need to know about Ruby is that Ruby is a scripting language for developing general purpose applications. It is most commonly used for developing web applications. However, uh, we're going to use it uh, for learning and we are going to do some scripts, some really simple scripts uh, you know for beginners and stuff and um, the first thing that you need to know before we install it is that uh, the installation process is not the same um, on Linux that on Windows or in Mac it's uh, a different process so you need to uh, keep that in mind and also remember that we are going to be using Linux specifically Ubuntu for these tutorials so we're going to install it on Ubuntu now if you're using Windows you can search on Google Ruby installer and you will get uh, a whole bunch of results that will get you uh, to download a, a program that is uh, the Ruby installer program and then that will get you Ruby installed on your machine it's not really that hard so you can just Google it and everything should be fine now if you're using Ubuntu all you need to do is that you need to type in sudo apt-get install Ruby and uh, with that you can basically download Ruby from the Ubuntu repository and uh, now something that you need to know is that uh, actually right now in uh, January 2014 Ruby is on its uh, 2.1 version however if you download it from the default uh, Ubuntu repository you will get the 1.9 version which is uh, really uh, uh, one of the latest uh, stable releases so you can use that uh, for learning is fine it's not going to be much of a problem you know um, but uh, I think that is good that, that you know that this is the version that we're going to be using uh, however it will not represent a major problem or something it's just uh, yeah, you, you know for you to know uh, okay now we're going to make our very first uh, script now for making a Ruby script uh, you need to create a file which has a hell okay hello um, which has the RB extension over here so my file is going to be called hello.rb rb is the ruby extension you know for uh, writing ruby scripts and go ahead and create the file and open it uh, with your favorite text editor okay oh I don't know why I did that okay that's it okay I have uh, my text editor which is a uh, emacs you, uh, you can use emacs if you like and uh, now we are now ready to create our very first uh, script now uh, we're going to make a hello world script which is going to print a message on the on the terminal now for that you need to type input which is uh, an instruction that will print on the terminal a message and go ahead and type in uh, double quote marks and any message you like for example hello world i'm using ruby and that's it. That's basically all you need to do for your very first program. Now, for running your script, uh, you need to go back in the terminal. So I'm going to close this. Remembers that uh, you need to remember that this is going to print um, this message on the terminal. So I'm just going ahead and close this. And for running my program, you need to locate your file, which is uh, which I have uh, done uh, over here, hello.rb. And for running the program, go ahead and type in Ruby and the name of your file and just like that type in enter and you will see uh, the message we just uh, created on our script and you will see it printed on the, on your screen over here uh, and that is basically our very first Ruby program uh, well a script you know because it's a script no? <laughs> because it, it is a scripting language so I hope you guys that you're really excited about learning this uh, program language in the next uh, videos I'm going to be making you know uh, simple programs so you can learn how to manage variables uh, objects uh, all that kind of stuff don't worry about that for now we're going to take it slow as uh, you know for getting all we can about uh, uh, the Ruby programming language. So that's all for now, I believe. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to click on the like button uh, below. You can also leave a comment in the comment section. 
and I believe that's it for now. So see you guys in the next video and be happy, you know. See you later.